Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm with Traverse Tool Company. So I get asked every once in a while what a lathe swing is and how to measure it. So I thought I'd do a quick little video and show you how to do that and explain what it is. First, I'll mention the most common lathe swing, which is swing over bed. There are actually three types of lathe swing. Um, they're all similar, but different parts of the lathe are measured. So um, here's a quick explanation and uh, example of how you measure swing over bed. An easy way to measure your swing over bed is to put a center in your tailstock and measure to the closest way. As you can see, I have five inches here. So the biggest workpiece I would put, be able to put into this lathe is 10 inches before it would hit my way. So I'm measuring five inches to the center. That would be the radius. I double that to get the diameter. That makes it 10 inches. And always round down, never up. If you round up, then it would be your workpiece would be hitting the, um, the ways. So round down. The swing over carriage is similar to swing over bed, except that we measure from the center of the spindle, or I'm going to use the point of my live center again. Instead of going down to the way, I'm going to the carriage. So as you can see there, I have about three inches in the swing over carriage. So I'm measuring the radius and again, just like swing over bed, you have to double it. So I have a six inch, a little bit less than six inch um, swing over carriage. Then the third type of swing is swing over gap. Well, I don't have that on this lathe. In some machines, you can take a section of the, the bed out and it leaves a gap in there so that you can, uh, right up close to the chuck, you can put a bigger diameter workpiece in it. And if I did have a gap, I'd measure to, to the, uh, the bottom of the gap and to the center of the spindle and double it, just like the other uh, different types of swing. So I hope this little video was helpful to you and explained what the different types of lathe swings are and how to measure them. And um, just in case you need to get some accessories, in particular, a, uh, a quick change tool post, um, you'll definitely need to know your swing um, to, to, get, to know which one of those to get. Um, and uh, it's actually pretty simple. So I hope this was helpful. And um, stay tuned in and uh, see what else we have coming up in the form of videos. Thanks for watching.